So tell me, where are you from? Indonesia. Indonesia? Jakarta, Indonesia. And tell me why you're here. Tell me what was wrong. Give me a quick history on what's mm, going on. My jaw disconnected. Yeah? Regular. Not regularly, but you know, every time. Yeah. It happens, yeah. Yeah, so it's been going on for decades, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, since I was about 20 years old. That wasn't very long ago. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we met, what? to do our procedure, what, about 14 months ago? Yes. Um, and before then, can you describe what was going on, what was wrong? I can yawn. Uh, when I yawn, I have to hold it, or sometimes even bite. Uh, my jaw will have, like, like not fitting in, in the right. to the place. Right. And when I yawn, that's what mostly happened, and it's just disconnected. Right. And I can't close it. And then, so then we we performed our, our disclusion time reduction, our, our DTR procedure, um, and you found that you were more comfortable. I was more comfortable. I was more relaxed when I yawn. I don't feel the tightness. I don't feel have that feeling that, that uh, you know, to open my jaw, I have that feeling. Right. Like. It wasn't, it wasn't as loose. It wasn't like a bum knee anymore. It yeah, fit yeah, better, yeah. Right? Even I still holding my jaw. That's because out of habit, you know. Sure. For so long. So, so we did that about fourteen months ago, and then you, you live in another state now. You, you know, you you live in Jakarta or Jakarta some of the time, and you live in South Carolina others, mm -hmm. right? So, you had dental work done in South Carolina at yes. a university, right? Yes. Yes. You had a couple of implants placed, and you had, uh, I think it was an online of filling maybe, you know, three or four things done. And this was doing, done in a university by someone that's really supposed to know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. And you found, I guess, over the last few weeks mm -hmm. that A couple of weeks, I feel like my jaw starting to feel, uh, when I close it, open it, it has this uh, not fitting in. So know? all of a sudden you were unstable again. Yeah. It felt so you were good for over a year. Mm -hmm. yeah. You felt very stable. I do, yeah. And then all of a sudden, the past month or so, you start feeling very unstable, mm -hmm. right? So you can't. And I can't bite because it hurts. It hurts on the left side. On the left side. You wound up coming to us, um, what, a couple days ago. You came back to me. Yesterday. Yeah, right? And we went ahead and re performed mm -hmm. our DTR mm -hmm. because things have changed mm -hmm. relative to how your teeth relate top to bottom. Mm -hmm based on the dental work. And describe to me how you've done since then. It's only been 24 hours. I feel looser, the jaw, not like tight, and I bite down last night, we had dinner. Uh -huh. I still have a little bit that feeling, but not that like scary feeling that you feel like bump, you know, things. Yes. And uh, this morning, I had a little bit breakfast and I can bite both sides now. Yeah, so it, so all of a sudden it feels more stable. Yeah. So basically we caught your bite up to your joint. Uh, because basically we know your joint is unstable because for decades you've had issues with the jaw locking and unlocking. Yes. So we know that there's something orthopedically wrong. But we also know that either the orthopedic situation has changed dramatically or the dental work has thrown you out of whack. So regardless, you started having muscle spasm again. That's fair, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And things were unstable. And we kind of re-aligned your bite to where your joints want things to be about a day, a little over a day ago. Mm -hmm. And now you feel more stable. I can't. Is that I don't fair? feel, when I bite down, I don't feel any, uh, like, bump, The you know, not yes. nothing. It's just normal feeling. It feels feeling. good. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're always getting dislocated. Yeah, always. But yeah, a lot of the videos you've seen that I've posted, they don't necessarily complain about that. It's yeah. more of a pain thing. Yeah, pain. Yeah, that's why yeah, I see. see. A, a case like yours, though, is, is not, it's very sketchy because you never know exactly what's going on up in the joint. The mm -hmm. only way to really, really know, I mean, we look at CT and all this, but and EMG, and we look at T-scan data, but technically we should be looking at cartilage, which is an MRI. Mm -hmm. So one of these days, we're going to be geared up to do that, and we're going to do yeah. that on you. And we're going to see exactly where things are up in the joints, mm -hmm. not just the hard tissue, but the soft mm -hmm. tissue. Because most people don't even look there, and that's extremely important, and it influences everything. 
And basically through the bite, if the joints are stable and adapted, we can calm your muscles down. And the fact that your muscles were so spastic was why things felt so unstable. And the muscle was always pulling, like, mm -hmm. you know, it was out of, out of sync with what it was supposed to be doing. So now all that seems to have changed. So you are glad you had it done? I am glad, and I'm glad I can bite <laughs> and eat. <laughs> that you can eat and take your trip in, uh, yeah. in comfort, right? <laughs> you know, when I found that out last week, feeling that, my jaw like that, the first thing I, I'm, I say, I'm going back. I'm going to back to Dr. Nick. <laughs> so you guys grabbed a ticket in about three days, you flew back yeah, down here. Yeah, yeah. And you're getting ready to go back to Indonesia yeah. next week, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel safe to go now? I know I feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, well, thank you very much.